I grew up on these courts. I wake up probably about one o'clock and uh, just play basketball until about nine to ten. That's my curfew. All the older kids would be on the court, so you would have to be mentally strong and don't let nobody bully you to actually play on the court. You gotta have that New York toughness. That's what made me who I am now. There's Lance Stevenson and we in my neighborhood, Coney Island, Brooklyn. I grew up about four or five blocks away from here in the project building. There's a lot of dangerous stuff going on around there. So when I got this house, it made it more easier for me to focus on basketball in school. My mom liked to cook a lot, so she know how to throw the house down and make everybody happy and get some good food for everybody. <laughs> Right now we have my high school, Abraham Lincoln. And this is like one of the most popular high school in Brooklyn. Sebastian Telfair, Stefan Marbury, a lot of guys came from here. Actually, I wasn't gonna come to the school, I was gonna go to Bishop Lachlan. Every time I walked down the block, you're not going to Lincoln? You going to Bishop Lachlan? I used to hear that all the time. Like going to Bishop Lachlan, it was like going against my neighborhood. Because everybody in my neighborhood comes to Lincoln. And at the last minute, I decided to come here. And I felt like this was the best decision for me. My coach name is Dwayne Tiny Morton. He played on Lincoln basketball team, and he won a championship as a player. Him helping me and teaching me all the stuff that I know now was big for me and made me the player that I am now. My first championship, everybody was excited. Everybody was congratulating me. I feel like a celebrity in high school. It's the car I used to always play on. Where I got my talent from, I got my toughness from. That's where I got my whole style of basketball from. My mom, she didn't let me cross the street when I was younger. So my building was right there. I could just walk right into this park. Like how the kids are right now, I had to come in earlier to play with my age group. But once it got like a little bit later, the older kids come over and take over the court. This is the hood. So I wanted to get out of here. So growing up in this environment made me hungry and made me want to be successful in life. One time I tried to dunk and a dude undercut me and I fell on my backbone. Right on the concrete floor. That was probably my hardest fall. I was hurt. <laughs> I was mad that it happened that way, but it's part of basketball. You just gotta toughen up and keep playing. Maybe about 11, 12, I was already like six feet. I just had a little young face. I was so good at that age. I mean, they will always pick me up. They respect my game, so I was allowed to come on the court with the older guys. Right now we at my favorite deli. They got the freshest meat, cheese, bread. This store, I feel like I can get something healthy and keep my body right so when I run, I won't be too heavy. My routine in the morning, I'll wake up, run the beach, run the stairs, do a couple push-ups, sit-ups, give me a sandwich, and after school, I'll come back here and give me another sandwich. And hopefully my mom cook at night so I get, get a home-cooked meal after that. When I walk around the neighborhood, I always talk to the kids and have fun with them, shoot with them, teach them a little bit of stuff, just be a role model. I like when people notice me and thank me for my hard work and it makes me feel happy that I'm doing something that people like to see. <laughs> 